we've got enough ponies over there. Apparently they don't really like the heat and being used. <laughs> this thing looks so mean. There is Steve McQueen, bullet magic. It hit me right in the field. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and L. My name is Max and today we've got a very very special car and a car that I have been waiting for to drive for quite some time. It has finally made it to Europe. It is the all new Ford Mustang Bullet and it is freaking awesome. I am already in love. I love this thing so freaking much. Uh, today I'm going to show you all around the car, show you all the cool features that make this car a bullet and then we'll take it for a drive along this road towards the autobahn for a nice autobahn blast with this awesome car but before we begin don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always updated when we upload a new video and follow us on instagram at autotopnl so what is it that makes this car so special well first off let me do a very short recap of what Bullet is. It was a film in the 1960s, 1968 to be specific, with one of the coolest guys ever, Steve McQueen, behind the wheel of a 1968 Ford Mustang GT390 in Highland Green. And there was a, a chase scene which lasts almost 10 minutes, where he chases a couple of hitmen through San Francisco. And that is why that film is so legendary. It's sort of a cult hit. And to celebrate the 50th anniversary of that film, Ford decided to release this Bullet Special Edition. Uh, they have done it before in 2001 and 2008, but this is by far the coolest, I think. And of course, because the 1968 Mustang Fastback GT390 was already so freaking cool and all-round cool guy Steve McQueen added to that with that epic epic chase scene it just makes this car a little bit of a legend already and that is also why this color is called dark highland green so it is dark green just like the car from then and it also sprung a new kind of show tv show film where you had this young, handsome, tough cop that drove a fast, cool car. I mean, you had Miami Vice, uh, Starsky and Hutch, Magnum PI, Knight Rider. That's sort of all traceable back to Bullet, I think. Okay, enough of that. So what is this car and why is it so special? It is a regular Ford Mustang GT with some goodies so it has this awesome bonnet with these air vents which are real thank god uh, we have this grill this big gaping grill with a little chrome accent around it no pony logo right there we've got enough ponies over there as you know so we don't need this one and i think that this looks super mean without that logo that without that mustang pony there we also have, which I just noticed, a little pony right there. I never knew that, which is cool. It also has these torque thrust wheels, which are super awesome, 19 inch with six piston brake calipers and Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, awesome. And this is a very cool wheel, I think. And this is a very cool wheel. I, I don't know what happened guys, we've had some trouble with our GoPros recently. Apparently they don't really like the heat and being used. It is ridiculous. Um, but I was going to tell you that the Mustang and the Porsche 911 are two of the most iconic sports cars with two of the most iconic wheels. The Torque Thrust wheel and the Fuchs wheel. And both manufacturers still make that wheel in some form, which is really, really cool. I was also going to tell you, if the video didn't freeze, that the performance pack is standard on the Mustang Bullet and that means that you get those bigger brakes I just showed you. You also get upgraded suspension, a Torsen, limited slip diff and the sports exhaust which sounds awesome. Of course we were going to take a look at the engine, the 5 liter V8 Coyote engine with 464 horsepower and 529 newton meters which 
is up from standard because they use the open air intake from a Shelby GT350. It does have a little less power than the US spec bullet, uh, which has 475 horsepower. This one 464 because of WLTP fun killing regulations. On the inside, a lot of bullet logos. Well, on the outside as well, uh, but they're on the inside too. You also get this super cool cue ball gear knob and rev matching if you go for the manual which works really really well and the last part that froze was the fact that you can also get it in shadow black but i mean you you should go for green if you see anyone with a black one please tell them that they should have gone for a green one because this is such a legendary color that highland green it's so beautiful on this car okay there's no one in that car so we can rev it a little bit as I said, we've got that valve exhaust. Oh. <laughs> oh man. People should not let me drive these cars because I just I just get a little bit crazy in the head. So awesome. Okay, it's so quiet. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. This is so special, and the the feeling you get from this sound, from this manual, from this big pretty heavy car it weighs like 1850 kilos it's just it's a real muscle car it still is and the fact that they have been able to capture that magic combined with the fact that this thing looks so mean so green sounds like this oh it is it's a perfect storm this car I have always been well excited by V8 Mustangs we have driven but this car is something else there is a little bit of Steve McQueen bullet magic in this car listen to that 7300 rpm shifting the manual gearbox is I would call it pretty masculine you have to manhandle it a little bit it's not meant for super fast shifts in general and that's the limiter already 260 it should do 263 kilometers an hour but i'm guessing that that is not 260 gps kilometers so i'm also in fourth gear right what the hell this thing has some long ass gears but i have to say that it was actually pretty quick to that top speed Oh, we've even got some beautiful sunlight over there. But guys, <laughs> this is, this is awesome. We also have the Magna Ride suspension, which is the adaptive system by Ford. It's actually the only optional extra that's on this car so all the stuff you see is standard on the bullet so it, it's basically a fully specced gt with a little bit of extra power from that open air induction system from the shelby gt 350 and all the bullet specialness dropped on that from 100 to 200 let me demonstrate uh, that was a little bit uphill <laughs> that's ridiculous okay fuck it from 100 to 200 this car really pulls we actually did a 10.74 run earlier which means that it's around the time of a bmw m2 competition which is also a competitor so it's not bad it is actually pretty fast this car the 
The only problem I have is that limiter because you just saw me shifting from fourth to fifth gear while in the limiter and it also has a sixth gear so this car would do 280 to 90 kilometers an hour easily that's a shame so 0 to 100 is 4.6 but it's absolutely impossible to get that uh, because it just dies down it bogs down it's just impossible to do that but I lost my train of thought because I was talking about that Magna ride uh, that's the adaptive stuff so even though this car has the performance package with the stiffer upgraded suspension it is still pretty soft especially in normal mode in, in track mode it feels a little bit stiffer on the damping which is nice but you still have that that muscle car feel that a little bit of wobbliness that you absolutely want oh man it actually gets to that top speed really easily but that's good that gives me more time to do a couple of runs from low down riding into the sunset in a bullet Mustang. Does it get any better than this? On the German Autobahn. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds, I would say. So they also just released, I think just today, the new Shelby GT500 with that supercharged Coyote engine with 750 horsepower and that's something I would be very interested in if I had a Mustang GT because I feel like there's more in here I mean that engine can handle a lot more and I absolutely would love a supercharger on this so I think we have to go looking for one they are super rare here in Europe uh, but I hope that one day we can drive one of those because this is awesome, but a supercharged one would be even better, <laughs> of course. So, to conclude, I would say that this car truly captured the legend that is Bullet, the film and the car in the film. I mean, the coolness of that car, the coolness of Steve McQueen, the coolness of this car today, it's all there. I mean, I do feel it. It hit me right in the field. So I'm going to end it here. We're back in the Netherlands. Fun is over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right there. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the next one. Bye guys.